Hey friends, today we will be doing properties of solids. Now as you can see, when there is pressure applied on some solids such that the shape of those solids change, then those solids are known to have a property of plasticity. Whereas on the other side, if you have solids on which pressure is applied, but when the pressure is removed, they regain their original shape. This is known as the property of elasticity. Now, do you see this amazing piece of, this amazing sheet of aluminum, which is rolled on in such a small roll, 9 meters of this. How is that possible? Now, that's possible due to the property of solids being malleable which means that solids can be hammered into thin long sheets without breaking. Due to this property, it is possible that we can make aeroplanes, cars, utensils and a lot of many other things. Do you see this wire? Can we imagine our lives without wires? No, it would be too dull and boring. Why do you ask? Because electricity passes through these wires and that's possible because solids are ductile which means that solids can be drawn into thin long wires without breaking. Most of the electrical wires have copper which is a solid and because copper is ductile it is possible for electricity to pass through it. Do you see this uh, spoon? Can you tell me why does the spoon have a plastic handle? Think for a moment. Okay, here it is. This is possible because when you are stirring solids, your hands won't get burnt holding the spoon because solids can conduct heat which means that heat can pass through solids. However, heat can pass through sub-solids while heat cannot pass through some solids and that's why spoons, steel spoons have plastic handles so that you won't burn your fingers. Likewise, wood also does not allow heat to pass through it which means it does not conduct heat and that's why you can use wooden spoons as well to stir food. Some solids melt. In fact, most of the solids melt. But do you realize that when you put a wax on fire, the wax melts? But at the same time, if I put a steel spoon or another utensil on fire, would it melt? No, it wouldn't. Because all solids melt at different temperatures. Wax needs a lower temperature to melt, while salts like steel need a high temperature to melt. Now have you seen hawkers roast corn on the beaches? How is that possible? They do it in a thing called sigri. Now the sigri has coal. Coal burns and when it burns it gives heat energy and light energy because of which the corn can be roasted. How is that possible? That's possible because some solids are inflammable. Solids like wood are also inflammable which means when you burn wood it gives you heat energy and light energy. Is stone inflammable? Would a stone burn if you put it to fire? No. That's why stone is not inflammable. When we try to pee throw a piece of chalk, it would break. When we try to throw a piece of glass, it would break. How is that possible? That's possible because solids are brittle. I have two beakers here. I have water in each of them. I add salt to one beaker and I stir it. To the other beaker, there's some mud added already. Let me add a little more. 
and I'm going to stir it. Now after stirring, we find that the salt, salt has disappeared from this beaker, from the water. Whereas after some time, if you let this stand undisturbed, the beaker in which I added the mud, we find that the mud has settled down, which means that the mud has not dissolved in this water. However, the salt has dissolved. This is possible due to solids having solubility. Salt is soluble in water. In the same way, sugar is also soluble in water. However, mud, sand, chalk powder is insoluble in water. And that's why you will see it settled at the bottom of the beaker. Most of the solids on heating turn into the liquid state and the liquids on heating turn into the gaseous state. However, there are some solids which turn directly into the gaseous state, some with heating, some without heating. For example, naphthalene balls and camphor turn directly into the gaseous state. Camphor on heating turns into the gaseous state, whereas naphthalene turns into the gaseous state from solid state without heating. This process is known as sublimation. Thank you.